Hey everyone, I hope everyone is doing so well. I am so excited to be able to share some updates and some exciting news. So in October, I went to the World Race Training Camp, which is a 10 day um, training down in Georgia where we sleep in tents. bucket shower so we only could shower out of a bucket um, every day we would pretend that we were in different countries and trying the new food which was really cool sometimes eating with our hands um, and trying like different bugs and gross stuff but We got to wake up, have breakfast with our team, and um, do worship, which was so powerful, and then end the night in worship was so great, and then like digging deep into the word and doing team building, and then having like a women's day or a man's day, we would camp out, we'd have airport scenarios. A day where some of our luggage got taken away, so we had to work as a team to figure out how to, you know, like keep everyone warm and sleep in tents and figure out how everyone can just be um, provided with the things that we need. In we were in Georgia, but it was so cold um, still at night. So we had to figure that out. We had to do a 2.2 mile hike under a certain time with our bags on. We'll be traveling to these countries with just like the backpackers bag and like a, almost like a backpack in the front. So that's all, it was all such a great experience. Uh, very, very um, packed with such amazing information and um, just digging deep into who we are as children of God, which like I, man, I wish I, I could have all of you guys just go through that 10 day experience because God did some amazing things and he revealed a lot to me and I'm just more excited to go on the race and to see what he has in store for me even more. Um, I really found my identity in him even more so and just um, let go of a lot of things, you know, like we hold on to things as um, as people and as Christians, but Jesus died for us and he died for our sins and he died for our past to be let go. So yeah, I was just so freed and just working through still a lot of that things to process because whoever's watching this, if, you're, if you've been to CUIC, it's a little bit of CYC, um, a little more extreme, but the tight-knit Christian community was amazing. People praying over each other constantly, really people speaking truth into you, which was just so amazing. So um, already that was life-changing and that was only the 10 days of my life, but I'm, yeah, I'm just really looking forward to sharing this beautiful journey with you guys. I love Adventures and Mission is the nonprofit organization that the World Race is under, and they're really big on the fact that um, ministry is life and life is ministry. They really believe that it's not it's not just this one time on the World Race that I'm going to be doing like mission work or whatever. It's always, and um, in which it's amazing that we get to go over to these different countries and reach the untouchables, the needy, the orphans, the widows, um, just people on the street, the homeless, the drug addicts. We get to go over there and we get to love them and we get to love them unconditionally and just show them the love that Jesus has showed us. Um, we love because Jesus first loved us and it's just, yeah, it's amazing that we get to do this, but we don't even have to go far to do this. We can do it to our neighbor, to our parents, to people in school. Um, so that's just really encouraging. Um, because of you guys, because of you guys being there for me and supporting me, I'm only $3,000 away from being fully funded, which is so exciting. I'm um, just so blessed and so thankful. And I, yeah, God is just so good. Awesome as well. We found out that we are going to be going to um, Portugal now instead of Ukraine. So it goes Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, India, Nepal, Uganda, Rwanda, Ethiopia, Kenya, Romania, and then Portugal because we found out that we're going to be walking the El Camino 
which I have to learn more about it, but I know that it's like a pilgrimage kind of thing and so many people on there, travelers, people doing it for a spiritual reason or just to do it and we get to minister to those people. So I'm so excited about that. Um, and I cannot wait. I can't wait to just kind of listen to God and just go with it and be obedient and step out of my faith and talk to people just on this route that we're going on. Also, we found out that in Colombia, so we don't know much about what we're gonna be doing in each um, country, but we did find out that in Colombia, we will be going to, um, we're gonna be staying at a place called City of Refuge, and it's in Medellin, I think I said that right, but there's a lot of homeless people and drug addicts. So we're actually gonna be ministering to them, like bringing them food and water and just caring for these people, maybe doing Bible studies or just praying with them or just, having conversations with them. We'll just be really seeing them as children of God and just being able to love them at where they're at. So also we found out who our team of um, seven or six will be. So we go over together with a group of 40 who, oh, I love my team, they're so amazing. So encouraging and just so loving and we're already such like a big family, which I, which I love. But we travel together to every country and then when we get there, we separate um, into our small teams and go all over the country and doing different things. Like I could be in a farm one day, someone could be in a city. Like we won't know until like we get closer to the, each country. But I found out my team and I love them. I'm excited. They did all girl team, all guy teams to start and um, they will switch them up as months go on. But um, here's the picture of my squad. They're awesome. They're awesome. And then here's a picture of my team. Um, I leave January 3rd, so it's under 60 days until I leave. I hope that I can see you guys at your next swap and be able to actually um, talk to you guys in person about it and just share some more awesome things please please subscribe to my blog so that you guys can get all the newest updates it's kristenhaley.theworldrace.org and i will be posting on there regularly posting videos anything pictures just to keep you guys updated thank you guys so much for your support and i love that you guys are meeting together i encourage you guys to keep doing it bring people um, bring people in this community um but yeah i love you and have a good day